Once again, I get a phone call. Hey, my shifter doesn't work. So I run out, sure as heck. A little nylon I replaced a few months ago. Must have swollen or something. Shifter linkage popped off at the transmission again. 07 Escalade, they ran these 6L80, 6L90s forever. They all have this ridiculous press fit, nylon, whatever. I said, this is it. Um, <laughs> Either I'm ordering a new shift arm, new cable, and being done with it, or I'm going to do something a lot more permanent, uh, more mechanical locking, so this thing will not come off again. And um, it turned out pretty slick. It took about 15 minutes or so. I'll show you the steps that I used. Uh, simple, you know, 15 or 5 16 drill bit, a bolt, a lock nut, a washer, and a grinder, and you're in action. Don't have to hunt down that weird. Um, I can't remember it wasn't a Dorman. It might have been the Help brand Dorman, where they had the little pack of two that I went through the other, the other couple months ago. Um, just skip all that stuff. This is a super easy way to do it, and it will be fixed, period. So, anyways, take a look. If you like the video, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll keep making some more ones on how to keep your stuff alive. So, once again, even though it's got a brand new bushing on it, um, popped off. So here we are again. I am not going to be reusing this nylon. I will be possibly using a piece of it. Um, I don't know if there's a problem with the actual pin itself, maybe, whatever. Um, I don't trust it anymore. I'm gonna do something more permanent of a fix. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the, uh, looks like a 15 millimeter nut that holds this arm on, the shift arm itself. I'm going to measure this I'm pretty sure it's quarter inch and I'm going to do a permanent fix to where I never have to jump in the truck and go chase down where my wife's at because her shifter arm pops off so bear with me while I pull this nut loose and we're gonna get to it so the inside diameter of the bushing is 5 16 so I've got a this is inch and a half whatever and it actually has the not threaded all the way piece. So what I'm gonna do is grind the back of this rivet off, remove this stud, drill it out to 5 16 put the bolt through it, and then I'll put a lock nut and washer to retain the rest of the bushing that I'm leaving in. And that will be a permanent fix. It is pretty tight between clearance wise here to the uh, pan, the trans pan. So I might have to actually grind this down um, worst case scenario is if I have to grind it pretty thin, then I'll just weld it in. But I'm thinking I'll be able to just either take a hair off of this with the grinder or just leave it intact because it was pretty close. So that's kind of my thinking on it anyways. I'm sick and tired of this bushing. I'm never going to trust it again after it failed with a new bushing. So you can see that the 5 16 fits in until it reaches part that actually is supposed to retain it on the stud and I'm just going to take a razor blade and just file that off so that way there'll still be a nylon in there so the actual cable doesn't wear but without it being threaded I think it'll be just fine if I'm resting it on this you know shouldered piece so that's the plan currently I'm going to get that ground out put this in place get it halfway close and then see if I have my clearance against the the trans pan lip or not so few minutes and uh, we should be back and running. All right, so now that I moved, I moved the, uh, we'll, we'll call it the retention piece of the nylon, original bushing. You can see that that bolt that I selected, the bottom threads end perfectly so it's not touching anything inside this bushing so it shouldn't have any kind of rubbing issues in the future. So what I'm going to do now is install the bushing or the uh, linkage again. This is where I'm really going to get close on checking travel here. Uh, obviously I have to cut some of this bolt off so I'm going to mark it and then I'll rotate it down just to see how close it is. If I have to shave more than about half of the head of the bolt off then I'm going to go ahead and just grind it all the way flush and then just weld it in place. But uh, we'll know here short enough. 
I was pretty confident I was gonna have to shave that bolt down anyway, so while I was there, I just went ahead and cut about half of the head off. Uh, that way you can still get a wrench on it. It's plenty of material to hold this thing since there's not a whole lot of outward movement. Um, but yeah, if you see, it does clear just fine. With, if I can get it to focus. All the way through. So I am gonna end up putting a little bit of uh, red Loctite on and use a lock nut as well. And you just want to snug it. You don't want to just really ram it home. It'll just bind this cable. So as long as the lock nylon engages and you throw a little Loctite on it, it just literally can't go anywhere. So anybody that's tired of fighting with this stupid press fit nylon garbage that they have on these trucks for some reason with these 6L80s, 6L90s, just do yourself a favor and get a 5 16 shouldered bolt and a uh, lock nut. And just make sure that your washer is actually bigger than the white nylon piece and engages this black. I'm gonna trim this down just a touch to make it nice and smooth. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna call that one a, a done deal here momentarily. And at the end of the project, as long as you have enough to make sure you have like about a thread sticking out of your lock nut nylon, I threw some red Loctite on there as well. Um, I did put some Silglide or some grease in there to help it pivot nice. You don't want to crush it way down. You want to make sure that the uh, washer can move, but you know, not super sloppy. Uh, finish tightening up your 15 millimeter up top. And now I have something that I am 100% confident that I will never have to revisit again. So skip the nylon steps and all that garbage. Go straight with just a bolt, lock nut, and call it a day. There's plenty of clearance between the drive shaft. Um, yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't have done something more mechanically locking like this. Hopefully it helps somebody else out. Thanks for watching.